It's refresher time. When do you need to stop for a school bus? Okay, this one's easy. But what about this one? Or this? Or this? Let's check in with one of our good friends at the Boone County Sheriff's Office. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Jason Holt, the Boone County Sheriff's Department. And our topic today is, when do I stop for a school bus? If you're traveling in the same direction as a school bus, you are required to stop. Once the lights get activated, arm gets extended, whether you're beside that school bus, behind that school bus, you're required to stop. If you're traveling in the opposite direction and a school bus approaches you, Lights get activated, arm gets extended. You are required to stop. The only time that you're not required to stop is when you're traveling on four lanes of highway or more. What about a roadway that has three lanes? One traveling in one direction, a center lane, and one traveling the other. If a school bus approaches, lights get activated, bar comes extended, and you're traveling in the opposite direction, you're required to stop because it's simply three lanes and not four or more. Thanks, Lieutenant Noel. That was pretty straightforward. But why should I be concerned about school bus safety and school bus laws anyway? It's important to know the school bus laws because simply put, our children's lives depend on them. Well, there you have it. If you're going the same way as a school bus, you stop. If you're going the other way, you stop unless there's four or more lanes. A very special thank you to Lieutenant Noel and all of our friends at the Boone County Sheriff's Office. We'll see you next time.